Jumping into Framer, hold on a second. Before you start designing, there are a few must known features in the Framer that will make your life easier. Trust me, skipping these will make you running in the circle. But if you get them right from the start, you will build faster, smoother and with a way less frustration. Let me walk you through the key features that you want to know before getting started. The first thing is you need to understand about the Framer dashboard. So coming to the Framer UI, you need to know all the necessary features in this. Coming to the top left corner, you can find all the personal projects and also the guest workspace. Even you can add the workspace. Even you can switch between the light mode or dark mode. And here is the account details with the workspace, sessions and etc. And coming to the settings, uh, you can invite others via links, even you can add the members and you can view the plans you are currently in, even you can uh, do the changes to the permissions, the fonts and all other details. And coming to these projects here, you can view all the projects which you have created. Even you can uh, create a new project by using this or you can create a new folder so it will be easy for you to organize all the projects coming to the top center even you can search for the projects even you can invite the members by using this which have seen already you can create a new project either by use this button or just going through here so this is the basic dashboard of the framer so now let's us create a new project and after you coming inside this new project, you need to understand one important thing that is frames and stacks. So the frame will act as a box modeling. So in order to create the frames, either you can uh, use the keyboard shortcut or you can go to the layout and select with the frames. So just click and drag. So the frames will be created. This will be act as the box. So inside the box, you can put the necessary elements in order to create the layout. This frame is in free form. If we want to make it as a perfect layout, we need to use the stack. Now let me create an another frame, which is inside this and another frame. So instead of uh, making these boxes to be aligned manually, we can use the stack. So that all the content which is inside the frame will be stacked one another in a perfect manner. So in order to make it as a stack, I'm going to the layout and clicking on this plus. So it will be aligned as the stack. So this is the concept you need to understand before you get into the frame. So you have seen about the frames and also the stacks. The next thing is text and images. Now we have a create a layout. Now inside it, we need to add the text and images. So in order to add the text, you have to go at the top panel that is here. Either you can click this one or you can use the keyboard option of T. So that the text will be created and you can type it freely. And then you need to know how to add the image. In order to add the image, you can use the two options by using the frames or just by using an image option. So first let's look at into the image. So for that, I'm going into the insert panel. I'm searching for image. Just click and drop it here. An image frame will be created. In order to import an image inside this frame, I'm going to this fill option. So from here, you can choose the image uh, from our system. So this is the one of the option or else you can just click one of the frame and again go to the fill and at the last you can find the image. So from here, you can choose the image and insert it inside this frame. The next one is pre-built sections and pages. And you can find a very good option in the framer that is a pre-built section and also the pages. Instead of creating it from scratch, you have a ton of uh, sections that is a pre-built sections. So in order to get the pre-built sections, just go to the insert and you can uh, find the predefined section or also the page. At first, let me go to the section and from here you can choose the necessary section. Or um, So for example, let me choose this one. I'm just clicking on it. And so a new section will be created. So from here, you can do the changes 
uh, for the text and also for the image which I have said earlier. And next even uh, we can uh, create the pages which is predefined. So again in order to do that I'm going to the insert, I'm going to the page. Um, now let me add a planning page. So if I click on it a new page will be created along with the wireframing. So it will be very easy and it will be very fast for you to do the changes for your web design. The next features you need to know is animations. So you have seen many of the website there is a lot of a subtle animation and also the great animation. So you need to know how to create the animation in Framer. Actually the animation creation in the Framer is much easier than any other. So let me show you how to create the animation which is a basic animation. So for an example I'm choosing uh, this whole section and I'm going to the effects. So from this effect, you can add the animations. So just click on this plus icon and here you can find a bunch of animation option. So at first, let me choose up with this appear. Here you can give what type of animation you need. So the trigger should be on appear. Even you can find a plenty of presets. So if this particular section enters what the effect should be shown. So that can be done here. So in the enter option, I'm just selecting on this effect. Here I can give the opacity and a scaling. And even if you want, you can do the rotation. And here there is a transition effect. So from here you can do any of the changes. So let me check how it's working. So this is how the animations. So every time it appears on the screen, this will be the effect. You can tweak any of the changes which you want. The next option is using of the components. The component is reusing this particular element again and again. So for an example, we can take a button. That particular button can be used in many places. So instead of copying that and pasting it wherever we want, we can create a component at first and do the changes. And we can use that button component wherever we want. If we need any of the changes, we can do it only to that particular component so that the changes will be affected to all the buttons. So let's see how to create that component. So for an example, as I have said earlier, this is the button. If we need to use this button here, what we will do, we will just copy and paste it here. So instead of that, we have to create a component. So in order to do that, I'm just using the option of create component. So the button component will be created. So from here, uh, you can do any of the changes that have to be done to the component. Even we can give the hover effect and press the effect, even create an another variance. So for the hover, uh, let me change it something like this. Okay. So for this one particular component, we can create a more variance and also we can give the mini effect that is hover effect and press effect. So let me show you, I'm just copying it and pasting inside it. And if I do the changes here, let me change the color of it to red. So that particular changes will be affected to the other buttons also. So this is the powerful features of the component. The next things you need to know is CMS, that is the content management system. It will be much useful if you are using a blog. So if we have hundreds of pages, so instead of copying it again and again, which is like the component, we are just going to create a only one layout and reusing it again and again. So just by using the concept of CMS, let me show you. So I'm just going to use the CMS. Here you have a predefined one, just add the blog. So the predefined blog will be created. From here, you can do the changes for the content and images and etc. If you want to know more about the CMS, you can check out my CMS video in my channel. So here are all the different items. And let me go to these articles. So we have used only one layout and you can find a bunch of different content. So the CMS will be the best practice of using per the blog. So instead of duplicating it again and again, we can just create a only one single layout and use it multiple times. The next features you need to know is responsiveness. 
So this will be effective if you are using for the web browser. So what about the tablet and a mobile version? So for the responsiveness of this website, we are using the concept called breakpoints. So from here, you can choose up with the tablet and phone. And here you can do the necessary changes. And let me show you the other page. So which we have already created. So here we have a desktop breakpoint, tablet breakpoint and phone breakpoint with the perfect responsiveness. So let me preview it. It's very pretty responsive. It's not a breaking out the layout. So this is the features you need to know in the framework. The next feature is plugins. Plugins are really powerful tools and integrations that are accessible directly on the framework canvas so that you can take your designs and the workflows to the next level. Plugins in framework is just like a modes in a game. They add extra features without coding. Want a cool animation, a contact form or a doc mode? Just install a plugin and it's ready to go. Instead of building everything from scratch, plugin saves time and make your website more powerful in just a click. It's like giving your framer site a superpower. So let's see how we can access the plugin. So at the top corner, you can find the plugin. From here, you can find a plenty of plugins. Even you can search for the plugins by using this browse plugins. And if I need any of the stock image, I can search for Unsplash plugin, Lumi plugin. So from here, I can directly take the photos and use it in my website. And if I want to use the icons, I can uh, get the icons from here. If I want the logos, I can search for the logos. If I want to use the Google Sheets, I can use the Google Sheet plugin. So it is very much powerful on using the plugins inside the framer. The next feature of the framer is Instant Publish. So you have created a beautiful website. Now you need to uh, publish it. So it's very easy to publish your website. So just go to the publish, just click on it. That's it. Your website is published immediately. So it's much easier for you to publish your site. The next important feature is it has a free frame or subdomain. So in order to access the subdomain, I'm just going to the settings and in the domain, you have a base domain, even you can uh, get a free framer subdomain. So from here, you can uh, give any of the name which you want and just click on the right. That's it. Your subdomain will be created. But only the thing is you will get the extension of .framer.website or you can uh, choose either of this. The next feature of the framer is it has a pre-built free framer templates. So from here, you can make use of the free framer templates and just do the workaround on the templates. And also you can able to uh, learn about the framer more if you just work around on the templates. If you want to know 10 best framer portfolio templates, you can check out my video, which is in my channel. So in order to use the template, just go inside it. And if you want, you can do the preview. And if you want to use it, just click on use for free and just copy that project to your account. That's it. And that's it. These framer features will help you to save a ton of time if you are a beginner. And let me know which feature is your favorite. Please drop a comment in the comment section below. And do you want more framer tutorials? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. If you need the framer resources, join my community which I have given in the description below. So alright, that's a wrap. See you in the next video.